Okay, we're back. And we are gonna be doing a full tour of our ambulance. Um, we kind of made it a mini yurt and used a bunch of leftover materials to make our ambulance. And so it does look very similar. And Matt's gonna do a full tour of the inside and show you all of the stores that we have and all of the different um, unique things that we did to it to make it kind of our own. And yeah. Um, yeah, just like Kathy saying, I'll go through everything, but I guess we didn't really tell the backstory on the ambulance or why we did it or how we got it. Um, we've probably half renovated like three different vehicles, our own personal vehicle for a short month or six week trip. Um, a work shuttle vehicle we ripped apart and put it back together when we got home for another trip. And we just talked about like, oh, we want a camper van, we want a bus, we want a mid-sized bus. Um, and then this thing kind of just fell into our hand. It just sort of happened, I guess. It kind of came out of nowhere. Um, we were on a volunteer fire department and the county, local county, was trying to sell it for an amount of money that we definitely couldn't afford. Um, not even close. And so we waited six months or eight months and then I kind of just inquired just to see if it was still available and they had were having trouble selling it. So we got it really, really cheap. Um, Which is why we were able to get it. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise it wouldn't have been in the budget. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it wouldn't have been possible. But um, to be honest, we paid $6,000 for the ambulance all said and done, um, which is crazy. It's a 2008, well, 2007 uh, Ford. It's a six liter diesel and it's a turbo. Um, it's amazing. It's got 150,000 miles on it. So for a diesel, that's like half of its life, uh, maybe. Um, and it's got dualies in the back. It, yeah, super solid. It's, I would definitely recommend an ambulance build. The hard part in my opinion was done. Um, and you'll see all our videos and such, but uh, all the wiring. So this thing is wired up better than any probably camper i mean maybe a really top dollar camper van but this thing already has offshore power uh, so we can pull up and plug in at a campsite and have full power no problem um, which is really nice on the outside we really haven't done much um, this sweet little decal you've seen right here um, that's actually a little picture of the the harbor that we uh, are located in um just on the edge of lake superior so that was their emblem forever so we did not put that on there it came like that which is awesome um otherwise we'd be driving a white ambulance around um other than that uh we spray painted the lights they could not be red and no the sirens don't work that was part of the requirements i believe so they took out the pa system um so no talking to one anyone outside um, when you buy an emergency vehicle, essentially you can't have the red lights, the PA system, or the sirens. And that was our county. Mm -hmm. So whether some people get away with it or not, who knows. Um, but I can still turn the, the lights on. They're just silent. Um, but yeah, so we had to spray paint them black. We we're going to buy replacement covers. That was like $1,500. Bucks. Um, so we bought a couple cans of spray paint and it's held just fine. We did put a ladder on the back so you can crawl up on the roof. Um, this thing is super solid. It's spray foamed on the entire uh, cab too. So walking on top, you could probably have five, six people uh, on top of that thing and not feel a difference. So we've also got um, air conditioning and heat in the back separate from everything else, which was our like set up as well. So when I say a lot of the work was done, um, totally not joking it was it was awesome mm -hmm. it i think we did the build in less than two weeks um and if you haven't seen those videos we do have like a couple time lapse videos on our channel if you want to go look at those and just see the demolition kind of process and um you know what it looked like before and during and now i'll show you after yeah so it uh i think 10 days maybe mm -hmm. long 10 long days yeah. but um, used a lot of like uh, stuff like Cass was saying from the from the yurt and other supplies we had laying around from other projects. So um, you know all the lumber we had laying around. Uh, yeah, I mean we had the flooring laying around. We had the paint, 
We bought a sink, um, some fresh and gray water tanks, a pump. Uh, we had a little mini fridge laying around. We bought like a, a stove, a camper stove. And um, so we kind of made it what we're looking for. We can pretty much pull over anywhere and be self secluded. And um, yeah, it's nice. Can't cool. see in or out. So we'll do a little walk around yeah. tour. I'll show you the storage in the outside and then we'll go inside. Okay, so um, we'll start just on the front here. So this is just the side door. Um, it had medical supplies, obviously. They wanted access in and outside. Uh, just the side of our fridge, some storage stuff for us. And then just jumper cables, a fire extinguisher. Um, this is actually where both batteries stay. It's just a tray that slides out which is nice um, and these are the batteries for the entire ambulance um, engine uh, the back system and everything so. this is the the side door entrance which we'll get to that um, and then these are all the storage compartments so a couple things this is actually the back uh, of our bed frame which you'll see on both sides uh, but really we use this for like um, sometimes we'll put a small cooler in here with beverages and ice, um, and it's nice to pull up, uh, and be able to dump your ice out and whatever. We'll use it for firewood. We've got chairs there. Um, and you, you see how thick these doors are. I mean, that's how thick the entire ambulance is. So these things are super heavy duty. Um, like I said, it's a pretty heavy rig. It's, uh, it's taken us everywhere we've wanted to go so far. Um, but keeping this thing, I think we've camped in it. We camped in it in like 10 below, but we just had a space heater um, and it was comfy. It was cozy. It was fine. Um, but uh, opening this up again, just storage. Um, this is just the back side of it. So it's our bed platform here. Uh, and all we did was create a little separation wall. A lot of people will put like mountain bikes and different stuff. We could probably move that board three, four feet forward to come even with the front of the bed but we wanted a little bit of storage, which we'll show you from the front side. Um, this was super nice because we could put our suitcases, duffel bags, things that were empty once we unpacked. Um, miscellaneous stuff we got along the way. Uh, just an area that we really don't need to get to. And we pretty much keep these back doors locked at all times. More storage. Um, and these are just crates we had laying around. Um, so, I mean, you've got five stacked crates. We've got chairs, tables, fire pit, um, pretty much anything you need. These are not even full at all. But uh, the way we set it up is for us to basically grab a bag of clothes and hop in this thing and hit the road. So we've got our own dish set. We've got towels. We've got everything loaded up in here, which is really awesome. So it is truly like an RV. Um, Again, this is the back side of the headboard, which you'll see in our bed frame there. The, I'd say the toughest part, which is in all our videos, um, we had to cut these cabinets apart, which I went through probably 20 different blades cutting this thing up. Um, that was the big part. It was, they were all sheet metal uh, things. So we had to do a lot of cutting and grinding and um, making things not so sharp and building frames around that. Um, and then this is kind of our utility area. So we added all of this. Uh, this was again just storage. Uh, but what I did is uh, I've got a gray tank here, a fresh tank. So we can hold seven gallons of fresh and then we usually take a five gallon jug as well. So. So here's you got like 12 gallons of fresh water um, on the rig at one point. Uh, uh, we've got propane. Uh, we've got a little recycling bin there too. Um, and a little 12 volt pump here. So really it's nice. You can fill, dump from the outside. You don't have to go underneath your kitchen cabinets or anything like that. Uh, and I did have to cut a big hole in here, drop a sink in. Can't really see it, but... Um, so this was kind of the most custom fabrication stuff on the outside, adding the fresh and gray. We don't have a toilet or a shower, but we've got a kitchen sink. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it there. We do have a little access panel, so 
Um, we can turn the propane on and off from the inside. Uh, we actually opened a little access panel for our recycling bin there too. Uh, this is the last little storage compartment. So this is where the oxygen typically is. I guess that's where the broom is. Um, and what we did, uh, I took some pegboard, hung that up. So we've got clean supplies, um, a dog rope for at campsites. A uh, little broom, just miscellaneous stuff, um, and then all our cords and stuff too. And uh, what I've also done is, like on one of our trips, we took a little generator. Uh, we'll just set that in there with gas uh, in case we need that. And then what we did was hung this little garbage can bracket, which I saw on another ambulance spill. Um, so right on our kitchen counter, we popped this little door open. That's where the garbage goes in. And so same thing when you're at a gas station filling up. Uh, you can check your water, you can dump your recycling, you can dump your garbage all from the outside. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the outside tour. There is a, a really nice, what they would call, hurrying rack on the front. Um, so this thing is just absolutely awesome. Um, totally would recommend. Um, I would say, all in all, we're probably 15000 into it after buying it, taxes, tires, some engine work, personal stuff. Um, I'd love to, to do some more on it. I want to put an awning on one side and put a hitch uh, on the back as well. Um, in case we want to put a little rack for bikes or dirt bikes, motorcycle, whatever. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's go in. All right. So um, a little tough to get a good angle in here, but we can kind of walk around. Um, Cassie and I will switch spots here and I can kind of talk uh, as she walks around. But um, yeah, this is it. Feel free to hop in and check it out. So, um, actually a lot more space uh, than we anticipated um, you know a lot of these so you'll see these cabinets here I can just kind of start here but everything you see that looks like this is already here these cabinets are meant they're magnetic and they're meant to stay shut they're meant to hold things in there so all we've done here was put some little mats in the bottom bought some storage bins at uh, um, I don't know Target or home goods or something like that um, and this is all storage. We had a little mini fridge. Um, I probably would go like, my goal is to get uh, a Dometic fridge or cooler on sliding brackets. Hopefully it could slide in this way or out the side door. Um, but this has worked for us for now because uh, we can run it down the road. And then when we're plugged in, it works all the time too. So um, yeah, so these are all there. We painted everything blue. Uh, we did take a lot of stuff down. We took all the ceiling panels off. These are the original lights. We cut our own. Um, this is warped a bit, but um, all the wiring again is all done. So um, these are actually on dimmer switches here. And so we can actually, oh, the door open them. Dim, but we can actually dim them just on switches. We can turn everything on or off. So yeah, it's awesome. This panel, uh, there's a matching panel in the front between the two seats. Um, so you can control anything from back here, anything from uh, the front as well. Uh, this was all just countertop. We added this butcher block that we had left over from the yurt, um, bought a little bar sink. And all I did was I bought uh, a little 12 volt pump and use some of the wiring. So typically down here, this is our little access panel. So you lift that up, you get to the recycling and the gas. That's actually where um, there's a little suction tube and a bucket and an ambulance. So there was a wire down there that I actually cut and hooked up to the pump. So there's a little button here that says suction. You turn that on and you get, uh, you get water just fine. And so, and it just turns off. I mean, it's a little, it's got a little uh, pressure switch in the pump itself. So we can leave that on all the time. Um, 
and then same color like i said as the yurt these were all here we did do a lot of painting um it was pretty tedious actually cassidy did most of the painting or all the painting um these boards we bought uh it's kind of a synthetic um board we just kind of matched it didn't really know what we were going for um and then we bought these on amazon these are just stick and peel tiles worked awesome definitely a little bit of a learning curve but this thing sits outside all year long so any from 30 below to 85 degrees they haven't fallen off they've had no issues we stuck them to nice plywood that wasn't painted um and it worked really really well um this is a storage bin that was here uh, for like medical gloves. We just use it for miscellaneous stuff. Um, and then we added curtains to every single window, which is super nice. Cause like I said, you can pull up and pretty much black out everything, which is awesome. Um, here's a little crawl space that gets you to the front. And again, there's a door and a window and we have a little curtain on that window too. Um, this little deep well here, I've seen people turn them into showers, drill a hole in it. We actually have like a, a little porta potty thing that fits right in there. So you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, no matter where we're staying, doesn't have to get out. Um, and then as we move a little bit further down, this is pretty awesome. This was a medical drawer. Uh, we found stuff that fit in there. Keep that all taken care of. Uh, and then same thing, just magnetic. Everything's magnetic. This is kind of the master access panel to all the electric stuff. Uh, it's a lot to look at. It's a little bit intimidating, but um, yeah. So that's, I would say, uh, that's the stuff I'm talking about here is that uh, this was all done. It was all here. Um, so the, even the air conditioning, we have a, a vent in the back to keep circulation. So when we're cooking in here, we don't have a hood, but what we will do is like crack this window, crack the front windows, turn the exhaust vent on and it just keeps air circulating um other stuff we've added so this panel used to come out to here and was digital we cut it back brought everything closer um these outlets were here uh actually i may have added one outlet here um just for being in the kitchen area um this little thing flips down this is just a little phone mount we put for charging phones and stuff like that uh this right here uh was probably the most expensive thing we bought um stove and oven so we can cook just about anything um and it is really nice to not have to cook on a little camp stove and stuff like that um and then we've got underneath the bed here so a couple things this is uh actually a cutting board we got as a wedding gift um turned it into a little table and then we have a little stool that sits on the other side so that works out really nice um we have a full-size bed in here we were pretty we both agreed that we did not want to break the bed down set it up every night we went on a road trip in iceland uh and rented a van and that was the case and it's fine um but if you don't have to do it uh, why do it i guess the only thing i would change here is if i could pivot this up halfway while we're driving um if we had like another two person seat here or something um but for now it works out great for us um all the storage that you see above me this was all here sliding cabinets we have a fan for circulation there's another outlet here um and then we have some old lanterns we hang up at night um as far as the bed stuff goes, we made our own little headboard um, just to make it look nice. And what you saw on this side was all just uh, closed in so that when you open that door, you weren't looking outside. Um, and then uh, we did put a little collapsible shelf here. Um, just right here uh, for storage, but also we're like debating put a small little screen um but that's super nice because you can set your laptop there and watch a movie or you know anything like that um yeah and then again underneath all we did is we have some storage bins under there and everything has little grippers on their feet so nothing slides forward uh while you're driving and then back under here there's a whole nother sliding storage area where we keep like pots and pans and things like that um but other than that i mean 
the storage that I talked about is just under here. I think if I didn't say it five times already, the, the best thing about this ambulance is just that we've got more storage than we have stuff. And I think that's what you run into with camper vans and, and different little rigs is you're always trying to do tiny home style, which is awesome. We've done both styles. And this has allowed us to keep whatever we want in here at any time um, and have clothes and have set up. We've gone on a four to six week road trip last year and we had everything we could have imagined and still had tons of room. Um, and we had our dog. Um, and so it's been just fine. Um, I have no complaints other than the gas mileage, but Hey, it's a super unique uh, way to do it. It was really easy for us. I'm, I know how to do some electrical, but I'm, I'm definitely, it would take me a long time to figure out how to wire an entire uh, bare bones rig, but I, I could figure it out, but it was super nice that this was done and allowed us to pretty much get that build done in 10, 12 days. And, and then we hit the road and kind of did some working on it on the road where we just stopped places and bought different little things and got ourselves set up. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a sweet way to travel.